morning. <laughs> We're on our way um, today to go and have a look at some of the meters, remnants the from the, the ghetto, which is a ghetto wall, and, and a couple of other things to do with uh, the uh, concentration camp, or the ghetto, <laughs> should I say, that was here at Krakow. Um, I've, I've put this on now because this roundabout that we're approaching on these lights, this is the roundabout where that dog spent a full year waiting for uh, his owner who died on this roundabout. Oh, I can tell you it's quarter to ten and it, it's 32 degrees this morning at quarter to ten lights take an absolute age to change here Tram system was good though, the bus system was good, which we actually used the day before yesterday. Uh, we walked um, yesterday. Uh, cycling's really good here, really good cycle routes and everything uh, through the towns and cities of Poland. I think I think it just tends to be the Eastern European ones that uh, are, a, are a bit of a, a struggle. Anyway, he was hung around this roundabout somewhere. Don't know where. Exit the roundabout. Continue for one and a half kilometres. Yeah, and his monument is just the other side of a um, river. In fact, you might just be able to see it. There's a little tree. Um, on its own and, and there's a couple or somebody walking with a plan that's good looking at it. That's it. Uh, we're in Oscar Schindler's uh, enamel factory um, although they've actually altered uh, what it is. It's where they did the film so there's a lot of things from the film that are in here but it's not quite what I expected. I expected to actually be walking through an enamel factory. Anyway, I'll tell you a little bit about Oscar Schindler and uh, the factory. So the ownership of the company changed a number of times and its financial situation continued to worsen. In June 1939, the company applied for insolvency, which was officially announced by the regional court in Krakow. On the 1st of September 1939, Nazi Germany invaded Poland and the Second World War broke out. On the 6th of September, German troops entered Krakow. It was probably also at the time that Oskar Schindler, a sedate and German member of the NSDAP and agent of the Abwehr, arrived in Krakow. Using the power of the German occupation forces in the capacity of a so-called trustee, he took over the German kitchenware shop and in November 1939, on the power of the decision of the trusteeship authority, he took over the receivership of Record Company in Zablocci. On the 15th of January 1940, on the power of a contract with the receiver, Schindler leased the factory building, purchasing ready-made goods and semi-products. Soon, with the aid of Jewish capital of Abraham Bankier, former shareholder of record, and the owner of the shop, he bought a plot in Ul Li Power. It was then that he changed the name of the production plant, which was now called Deutsche Ilam Im Deutsche Enamel Work and Fabrik, DEF Schindler, did not become the owner of the firm until 1942. 
Soon after the takeover, Schindler embarked on expanding the production plant in line with the plans prepared earlier by the former shareholders of record. Such a development was possible thanks to the capital of Jewish entrepreneurs who have received goods or employment at DEF in return. The expansion included the construction of the payroll office, doctors and dentist surgeries, a clinic, kitchen, canteen, horse stables and car garages and later the machine hall earmarked for turning machines, stamping presses, sheet presses and tool rooms. In 1942 floors were added to the stamping hall with the resulting three floor high building housing the pattern shop, storage area, facilities for staff an administrative area with the owner's office and residence. The entry to the factory's yard was accentuated with columns and enclosed with an open work gate. Two steam boilers were added on the premises as were in 1944. The new stamping hall designed by the Siemens construction office and a large fire emergency basin. Production of enamelware followed the technology used before the war. To allow the survival of the business, the factory opened a munitions production section, turning out mess tins for the Wehrmacht and shells and fuses for artillery. Under the Nazi occupation 1939 to 1945, exhibition covers three floors of the administrative building of the former Deutsch Enamel Works. It's divided into segments devoted to individual subjects. Each of them prevents, presents successive stages of the wartime history of the city. As we walk through the building, <clears throat> it tells a story basically of the Second World War from a Polish perspective. It's all about Krakow and Krakow's involvement within the war, about the Jews who were persecuted and taken to the ghettos, about those that were sent to the concentration camps.
Nick Twilight. This is the labour office. From the labour office you go straight out to the planty garden ring where everyday life goes on. The projector situated in the centre shows propagandist films, German newsreels during the occupation. The cinema is one of the most attractive and popular pastimes. This is why even though condemned by the Polish underground state, which tried to protect young people from Nazi propaganda, the screenings in the planty gathered large audiences. From this area we go into the space devoted to the history of the Krakow ghetto and its residents, a suffering of 17,000 people, sentenced to be locked within an inch of the city is symbolised by the stone sky and the labyrinth of the ghetto walls imitating the authentic one. We'll see the authentic wall uh, a little bit later. Yeah. 
second day it's gone.
years. He was hiding in the highway. You may have noticed in the um, uh, place we've just been to, which was the, the set for Oscar Schindler's um, film, also it was where his factory was. And you might remember seeing these. These are the walls to the ghetto. This is all that's left of it now. So it doesn't really tell you much, and it's not written in English, but. 1941 to 1943 so the the ghetto and it's not and no, it's only a stone's throw to where his factory was and anything that was within it um, was, was like the Jewish quarter thing so uh, this is called Heroes Square and, and I, 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 oh, mm, 
They're chairs. Uh, the, ch the chairs are here and as a memorial to um, the ghetto and what went on there. I don't understand what all of the chairs represent. Maybe I'll have to sit on one and have a look, which I'm about to do. Okay, we've looked it up. It says that the memorial is dedicated to the thousands of Jews of Krakow who were forced to live here in a ghetto until the last of them was deported to a concentration or death camp. Each chair represents 1,000 Jewish victims. So there are quite a few scattered around. Uh, there are some smaller ones, which I'm assuming are, are like children, but uh, very cool. A good uh, memorial, they're a good height and comfortable to sit on as well, strangely enough. There's some smaller ones, huh? I don't know if there's anything written on these ones. No, but, uh, uh, this was the center of the ghetto. Um, where selection took place of who was on the way to the concentration camps and who was staying here in the ghetto. Apparently there should be uh, 70 chairs and there isn't and we don't know why. So I, I would imagine uh, being as all the, or most of the chairs are pointing that way is the fact that at the front there were the tables that were lined up for the process and then people queued up and then you went to either the left or the right after you were being processed and then some would have carried on back into the ghetto homes and others would have been um, uh, deported. I'll, I'll read you a statement that he says on it. it says, from our path there is no turning back. We are fighting for three lines in history. If only to show that Jewish youth if only to show that Jewish youth did not like sheep to the slaughter. <clears throat> That's three lines. And then it goes on to say between June 1942 and March 1943, thousands of Jews from Krakow ghetto were sent to their death in Belzec. Jewish youth in the ghetto organized the resistance movements against the Nazis. Iskra and Hukata Halishem. The height of their resistance activities took place on the night of 22nd December 1942, when tens of Germans were killed and wounded. Most of the fighters were captured and murdered. And it says they deserve much more than three lines in history. Ooh, it's quite hard to read that. Uh, we've made a quick stop, uh, well we've been travelling east from Krakow, uh, made a quick stop in this village called Zalipi and uh, um, it's because a lot of the houses are decorated like this. So we're going to take a look at a few of them, have a little bit of a walk and a wander. It's only a village so it's not very big. Well, it's a nice, it is, it is a nice little village. Yeah, it's, it's just, um, not all the houses obviously decorated like that. I think this might be a school, possibly. But, like yeah, it's quite, uh, quite cool what they've got. Very different. Very different indeed. Nice village, huh? Uh, 
how people have decorated the shed or garage. I say not, not all of them are. There's a local football pitch and uh, I think that might be the school then. Um, with some decorations on it, so nice little play area for the kids. Dove just stopped so we could have a look at these houses. I think it's quite nice that uh, your local population um, take part and try and decorate their houses the same. Look at that for a They've even decorated the trees at the back here, look, where the park is. Oh, I can actually get this way to the park. There's a gate. Oh, is there? Yeah. Apples on the trees. On there. And the, uh, this is the garden, it's at the it's at the back of the, um, this is the library, so it's at the back of the library. <laughs> How fantastic is that? Yeah, even with stalk on top of the chimney. Beautiful. <laughs> Very different. Let's have a look at this bit. And it's um oh what about that for a clock? I'll check to well, I've got quarter past two as the time, so um, not a million miles away, I suppose. There's a clock. That's really cool. Very different. Very, very different. Even the benches and the trees are decorated. Even the scarecrow. Has got a bird on its shoulder. How cool is that? <laughs> oh, two birds. Look at that. That's brilliant. I, I love the fact that you know a, a small community of of uh, work together to do something. <sighs> I don't know, I wouldn't say it benefits the community, but certainly brightens the uh, the space up. It's quite a cool park for the kids, but look at the trees. <laughs> now they've painted and decorated them. How fantastic are they? The apple trees. <laughs> Table and uh, chairs. Yeah, we've just noticed the uh, beehives. Well, we're hoping, I think there's no bees in them, but how cool are they? Wow. The beehives. 
as was, apart from there's one whistling around me ear now. Oh, cool. Sure is, aren't yeah. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what's this one round here? There's a, not the toilet, but there's a, there's a little dome one round where the tree is. Oh, really good, I, I must admit, I do like out like this. I think it's great what the local community um, have done. There's a little bit of a shelter from the sun as well, look, all nicely decorated. Uh, we're going to take a look inside the, we, we think it's a library, but we're going to have a look inside. Wow. Wow. What a beautiful place. This is where we are, Zilipi. Here's some of the houses in the town. And then uh, I've decorated some of them inside. Look at that. Oh, brilliant, mate. this and here <laughs> look at this I mean this is your uh, I don't know your village hall look that is absolutely it's, it's really really nice Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Amazing, yeah. Pardon? It's beautiful. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, not many people do it. It's fantastic, but mm -hmm. nature always wants it. Beautiful. Mum's birthday coming. I think I might get her something. If that's all right. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah. what you like. Mm. Did you look at map? How to visit Salipia? Uh, oh, no, 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 no. 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 <laughs> <laughs> We are here, okay. Don Malare, mm -hmm. and this is a church where yeah. it's beautiful. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Is it Bolivia really open? Yes. yes. Oh, perfect. And museum. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And you can go in um, this place, mm -hmm. and this is beautiful, and this. Oh, wow. And uh, if uh, they are in home, so we, we, we are having a wander around the village now. Um, see what we can see. I say some people have made the effort. And, uh, well, most people have to be fair. That's all locked up. I don't think anybody lives there anymore. But it's nice that they kept it all decorated. So onwards and upwards. 
Uh, it's about a 4k, what's that? Mile and a half walk round, two miles, mile and a half walk around. So uh, here's one that somebody lives in. You can actually go and knock on people's doors on certain ones and ask to have a look round, but I'm not, I'm not really into that. I, I wouldn't no. want anybody knocking on my door. So, but they're beautiful, look. How fantastic. Really nice. There's, a, there's another one. And behind. There's another little one in front. We're, we're going to go in and have a look at this one. So there are some that are open. We are going to have a little bit of a, a nosy around. So. Well, that was hard to um, operate. It's a strong spring on that. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> it's usually me that does that. It is that. usually you, yeah. He's always banging his head. Yeah. It's too hot. It is hot. It's beautiful. Okay. Are you going in there? Can we? Yes. yes. Thank oh, you. thank you. Where did you come from? Manchester, England. England. Yes. Wow. Look at these that she's making. It's beautiful with the very low ceilings, aren't they? Yeah. It's fantastic, isn't it? Yeah, do you want to take that? Absolutely fantastic, beautiful. I mean, how it's decorated is great. Uh, I just found it really uncomfortable being in the uh, somebody's house. Wow. 
but yeah yeah I was just saying on here I, I just find it really uncomfortable Yeah, it was nice to be, you know, invited in to have a look, but I just find it a bit uncomfortable. I know we've been in a couple of people's houses, but for some unknown reason, um, like uh, in Morocco, when we had a look in that Berber's house, and you know, um, can't remember where else we were. Uh, where we had a look in the rock house but it, for some unknown reason it just felt a bit different and I, I must admit it must, it's a very quiet nice little village to live in I think You know, <laughs> we can never time anything properly. And we've come round and the church is supposed to be decorated uh, how we want to see it. And we knew that it was open. Um, and what is there? There's a wedding on. It's just about to start now. She's, she's just this second walked through the door. So, uh, we're going to um, you? sit down and uh, come back or walk outside or something. I think it's quite a posh wedding, it's a big one, there's an awful lot of cars here for it. No but for it. <laughs> that's the wedding car, a larder. How cool is that? Hey? An old larder. Just like mine that I had. <laughs> yeah, same as I had a blue one. How oh, fantastic is that? <laughs> it's in good nick for an old car. Well, uh, we're going to come back, I think, um, to have a look around. Yeah. We'll have a look from the door. We're going to stick our nose in and have a, a little bit of a look from the door. Strange song to pick for a wedding because it's the 
winner takes it all. And it's about divorce and separation. And all. Right, which is a strange song to have, right? just as you're getting married. So, I think it was written originally about the breakup of um, two of the members of um, ABBA. One person gets everything and the other one gets nothing. I must admit, it was very nice. Um, about an hour usually. But I, want, <laughs> I think the choice of song is a bit strange because uh, the winner takes it all is actually a song about divorce and separation and about one person being better off than the other. And um, very strange. Now, I still, I suppose, each to their own. Oh, look at them for beehives. Talking of beehives, we thought it were really funny when we was in uh, Romania. Yeah, Rum I think it was Romania, and they got the beehives and they had them on with the vans, and there was a fella. It was. He got his truck packed in a lay-by yeah. where he's got all his bees are swarming bees. He's got his table out in front and he's trying to encourage people to stop. And yeah, I thought he was really it. funny because there's not a cat in hell's chance you were ever going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, well, not a cat in hell's chance you were going to stop. And we thought that were really funny. It, 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 he's it got it just off the back of the lay-by, we're a big lay-by and then he got his bench at the front with all these different honeys and there's millions of bees swarming round and he's waving at you to stop and come and buy his honey and uh, <laughs> there's not a cat in hell's chance you were going to stop and buy honey there yeah how nice that is Christine saying oh well, what somebody's done it's on the floor yeah yeah he's just saying we can we can just hear the wedding still in the background and we're still talking about that song the winner takes it all and uh um it's the blonde what they call the blonde one agnetta and yeah, I don't know what it was, Agneta Skalskog or something, Christine said her name was. And she sings it on the video and she has quite a um, a dour look to her face, doesn't she? Yeah. And the talk, I know when they talked about the song, he wrote that, I don't know which one she was married to. She was married to uh, Bjorn. 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 And, and Bjorn. Bjorn, yeah, Bjorn kind of wrote that song. And it was all about the breakup, but I think it was him that broke up with her. And she'd got to sing the, the song yeah. um, about that breakup. So the video's quite what well, must have been really difficult for her to sing so we found it really strange that we were out for a wedding but the only conclusion we could come up with is um it's a song that you first dance to uh it, it got some sort of positive memory for you <laughs> and yeah <laughs> so we we can't think of any other reason why you would have it the only, well, there is one other reason, is you've never actually listened to the words properly seen the or seen the video. Anyway, we, we are going to go back to the church yeah. to have a look around inside in about an hour or so, because uh, Christine said the Catholic wedding's about an hour. Yes. Yeah, so, 
yeah but i must admit it did look a very very nice service and whoever was singing sounded um fantastic When you get in front of it, it's like an eyes, nose and a mouth in it on the wishing well. Even the barbecue's decorated look. Fantastic. It's a gorgeous bi uh, village. I can tell you it's blistering hot today. And it is nice to just walk around. It's a lovely quiet village. I don't think there's even a shop here. We've noticed a few signs that are uh, on <laughs> people's um, gates and things and it, it says uh, either something pies or something or, or just pies and, and pies means dogs so uh, <clears throat> yeah like that yeah, wagger pies yeah, yeah wagger Uwaga pies I think means beware the dog <laughs> Yeah I was saying to Christine imagine offering uh, so holding something in your hand a pie in your hand and saying you know do you want a pie eat pie and then thinking oh it's dog. <laughs> yeah. Well, I've not seen the one that was on the left hand side. There's one on the right coming up. There's a, another one here with a. Um, we well get something to drink or eat if we wanted it. beautiful houses I mean I know that one isn't necessarily decorated like the rest in the village but look how beautifully kept it is fantastic it's, it's an absolutely stunning village It's a bit like getting in the spirit of the village. So there's the old well, another one with an old well. I wish I don't use them anymore. Fantastically decorated. It's great. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. And then uh, another one across the road, which is, uh, I think this one's uh, the museum. Yeah, that's the museum. What do you want? Uh, oh. get tickets in there I think. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a walk around here. Um, I don't think we're actually going into the museum itself. But, uh, See where uh, everybody had a well. How beautiful it is. It's 
gorgeous place. Go on then. Okay. So Chris, I'm going to find out what time the church closes because. Um, Pretty is that? That's beautiful, isn't it? The slurping noise of these ice mm. creams. Yeah, we're eating these at the minute. <laughs> 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 kind of swans in the garden. Turkeys look and chickens. Lovely. Town pond, I don't know what's in it. But it, it, it is such a beautiful and it's such a quiet village. It, it's very English. I think is a, a word I would use, except for the chickens roaming around in people's gardens. <laughs> Bafna, is it, it does remind me of Eng, very English people with a little bit of money. Beautiful, I mean, look at that house and the garden. I mean, that's just, Fantastic, I mean, these are garages and outhouses, but look at that, it's absolutely beautiful. Oh, turkeys and the chickens, look, and the chicks. Beautifully decorated. I keep saying it, but now it's a shame that not everybody has, but all the gardeners are really nice. Really nice. All the gardens are nice, aren't they? Yeah. Apple trees. Plenty of apple trees. We've, all, we've almost done a circle around the village now. And uh, look at that. It's beautiful. Huh? Christine's gone over there. There was a deer that ran across the road. And uh, she's gone trying to find it. The trouble is with Christine, she, if she sees it, she just goes too scared, close and scares them off. So, anyway, we're just parked down here. So, we've, we've, we've kind of walked around the square. There's no shops in the village, but I think because of these houses, there's a, a cafe, burger bar type thing there's an ice cream um, van so there's a couple of things to help you on your way and um, we're going to see if we can get back to the uh, church now uh, we expect the service to have finished so it took us a uh, that service started at four o'clock it's took us a uh, an hour to wander around. They even decorated the fire station. How pretty is that?
You don't like walking in the grass because you don't know what you're standing on. And you got that. How cool is that? And then there's a house here, all decorated as well. The wedding's just finished now, they're all coming out. So with any luck, we can get in the church. So you're just waiting in the car with the aircon on because it's 40 degrees at the minute. Well, we have got a little bit of a breeze here, we didn't have in Turkey. And then there's that house here. How pretty is that? I think it actually belongs to the priest. Well, we're just back at the church now. The wedding's just finished. We're just leaving now. So, <laughs> you're going to see it in its full glory, I think, before they um, take it all down. So... Wow. How well decorated is this? Fantastic. Nice uh, white carpet to come down on. Beautiful. All in the theme of the village. And there's, your, there's your confessional. This is kind of a, an open one. It's the first time I've seen that. So I presume you're on your knees this side, and this sits in that side. I've left his rosaries in there. And then uh, there's this. Chapel of St. Blaise. Wow. Wow. <laughs> that is stunning. Could just do with a bit of a decob wedding. That is absolutely fantastic. Beautiful. There's the uh, bells. And then Church is quite fantastic. Not sure what these are. There's two angels outside. They're like fake lights. Very strange. So we just caught that before uh, they lock up, which was uh, good timing. Here, I think the they're. Morning. There are uh, some people there come to clear up. Yeah. Yeah, Christine's talking about the priest. 
you've got a face like a spanked ass. Yeah, uh, we're just waiting, we're going to have a look inside that property there in a bit when they're, they're going to let us in. But the, the tradition of painting the houses and that look like, especially inside, goes back to when they were chimneyless houses. So there would have been lots of soot about. So the women used to lime whitewash the walls and then obviously then started the decoration process and that's continued on. So although this is a one of a kind village, there are other villages that do very similar things in the area. Hi. Okay. This is a, a museum house. przeniesiony na nasz oddział i odtworzony w taki sam sposób, jak był wcześniej. Dom Pani Łączyńskiej jest, był wcześniej wybudowany w 1800 roku.
domek zaraz przyjdziemy. Ona, ona właściwie nawet konia nie miała, tylko kawał uprawiała. No to jest ten dom jest z 1890 roku, a pani żyła do lat 60. Tak. Do 60 lat został przeniesiony tutaj na nasz oddział, żebyście Państwo mogli sobie porównać jak. Ludzie inaczej tamte były bogatsze domy, a ci żyli z pierwszych Tak była taka porządna zima. Po to to faktycznie. faktycznie było. No tak mieszkała pani sama. A sama pani sama. Ale ten wierzyn pani. To no też grzały. Wie pani co? Nie, nie, że by tam zamknęła, to to już nie wiem, że nie pani nie, wy, nie wytrzymała, wie pani. Chociaż w Skansen w Samotce jest, ale tam już służba była. Jest jeden dom, co jeżeli państwo będzie... No dom Malarek to sobie już państwo z zewnątrz możecie zobaczyć, bo już nie czynny. Na pewno, bo nie wiem, a chyba, że jeszcze do 18, bo nie wiem jakie dyżury, bo to jest Gminny Ośrodek Kultury. W zależności jak one dyżury mają. Jeżeli mają do 18, to jeszcze pół godziny. I te panie tam spotykają się, jest to jakieś... Nie, tam to już są pracownicy. Tam pracownicy, no, tam ludzie, tak, nie tak, mają tak, tak już zrzeszenie mają. Tak. No pięknie, bardzo pani dziękujemy. Ja, też dziękuję. ja miałam tylko dwa miejsca na trasie. I oba mnie zachwyciły. Pierwsze serce moje niezwykle uradowało. Też drugi raz tam byłam, pojechaliśmy do Leżańska. Akurat w katedrze skończyła się filmicyjna msza, więc nam zostali tam cały czas. Ja byś Even the letterbox has designs on it. So we don't understand the word of that, but it's quite pretty inside. So it's like the eye of Ra above the door. Red. Here's we've got a, a thatched one. So I'm presuming this one must be a chimneyless one because those, what we've seen, um, have got chimneys. So. Uh, not much of a park for the night, but we're uh, here on the services. There's uh, three showers in there. On there, there's a place where just the other side of the uh, white truck there, where you can uh, empty your black waste. Uh, we can fill up with water if we needed to, but we don't. And these, and just like a picnic area. So this is our park for the night.